welcome to Sky World. This is your weekly spirit animal medicine message. We pull a card um, every week to receive guidance from the spirit animals as the best way to use our energy for the week ahead. Uh, usually uh, do a bunch of shuffling and then film a big spread as I pick the card. Uh, wasn't able to do that this week because the elk jumped out <laughs> while I was shuffling. So I'm going to read a little bit from the book before we have our cup. Elk, your antlers reach for the sun. Show me that strength and stamina are one. Here's a short story. Elk wandered through the forest, looking for a partner. The mating season was in full swing, and the bucks that usually traveled with the other males had dispersed to find mates for the season. As Elk bellowed his mating call through the forest, his bugling alerted mountain lion that a feast could be in the making. Mountain lion circled Elk getting closer to his prey moment by moment. Elk sensed the impending danger when the forest grew suddenly silent. He broke for the high country when he spotted his pursuer, but Mountain Lion was far behind. As Elk made a running leap for the Timberline, Mountain Lion gained on him, but Elk continued to run onward, displaying tremendous stamina. Finally, Mountain Lion gave up, having spent his energy in spurts as he tried to jump over boulders to reach Elk. Elk paced himself, making headway as he climbed skyward toward the high country. Elk had no other defense except his ability to go the distance. Setting a pace that allowed him to utilize his stamina and energy to the fullest which is what we're being guided to do this week. Um, some of the reasons that elk can show up can mean you're about to hit your stride. They can show up to teach you how to pace yourself more effectively. And it can show up to see, ask if you are trying for the quick and easy when slow and steady will be more effective. Um, the fall is its power time, its rutting season, and uh, the elk shows us that we all need the company of the opposite sex for balance. Not in a sexual way, but by spending time with them we um, bridge our own energies to higher levels. Uh, it may reflect a need for companionship or group support. So for those of us searching for our star families, this is a good sign. And sometimes showing up to teach us to live in herds or groups, which I'm sure most of us would really rather not do at this time. <laughs> um, the elk eat mostly grass and vegetation. So when working with this medicine, as we try to uh, increase our stamina, it would be helpful to maintain a mostly vegetarian diet. Um, as Infinite Waters always says, a seven-day vegan challenge, that would probably be something good to do this week. I know that I'm about to go to the store and load up on some fresh fruits and vegetables myself because I have learned the hard way that when these messages come through about our uh, having a higher vibrational diet, I've learned that by not doing so um, at times of increased light, influx of solar flares, Schumann resonance spikes, portal days like we're having today. The assumption symptoms are um, are far less when um, 
when your diet is higher vibrational. So um, I'm going to take heed to the warning um, myself. Um, and, you know, often uh, I, I know I'm, not a lot of people are into the spirit animal videos. Um, but there's often a great correlation and support between these messages and the messages that we receive through uh, light language. Um, and the, our light language message was about um, putting down our spiritual anchors and withstanding the storm. So that directly correlates to me to having stamina like the elk being able to go the distance and being strong. So those are our spirit animal uh, medicine messages for this week. I uh, hope you all uh, have a great week. Do what you can to eat as plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables as possible. Keep your vibration high. Uh, 